Hi guys, we're going to have a look today at uh, adding and using the survey activity within uh, Moodle 2.3 course. Uh, it hasn't changed for a while, so this will be relevant to um, uh, most um, recent versions of Moodle. So the survey activity is a very specific um, activity within Moodle. You can use it to get some feedback either on your students' attitudes towards um, uh, thinking and learning, um, or you can use it to get some feedback on your online course, and that's the example I'm going to show you today. So um, there's other ways you can do this. You could use the feedback activity, series of choice activities, or questionnaire, um, but the survey um, has got some quite nice analysis um, of it afterwards, and it's got these built in already. So. Turn editing on if you haven't done so already, add an activity and resource and choose survey. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it uh, Online Learning Environment Survey. And uh, there's five different um, choices here, the survey type. Um, now these three are actually the same. If I just switch to uh, a different window to give you an idea of what they are, uh, you've got the um, constructivist online learning environment survey. Um, that was the one on the bottom here. So you've got actual, preferred and actual and preferred. Uh, or you've got the attitudes to thinking and learning survey, uh, which is the one at the top. So the attitudes towards thinking and learning survey, that gives you an idea um, how your, um, whether your, your students are um, connected learners or if they're very separate learners. Um, critical incidents, that's a series of questions that um, your students can type in um, some text answers and give you replies to. Um, again, they're the standard questions. Um, I'm going to use the actual. The preferred and actual and the preferred, um, it's actually the same questions that are asked. The only difference is the introduction text um, and I, I don't think it explains it too well, so I, I tend to find that the students get conf confused if you use the preferred and actual, um, because there's no options for them to give you their preferred answer and the actual answer. Um, so I'm going to go for actual anyway. I want to keep the introduction that's there, so I'm not going to type in any custom introduction. Um, I'm not worried about groups, I don't want to restrict the access. These are part of this restrict access and the activity completion. Um, that's uh, these are both advanced um, settings, so you may not see them on your course unless your um, administrator has enabled them. So I'm going to save and display, um, and this is what you'll get. Uh, so it's asking your students to um, actually talk about their experience uh, within the uh, this particular unit of study. So I'm just going to randomly pick a few answers so you can see what it looks like um, while I'm doing that you can have a little look down the list of the questions to get an idea of the kind of things that it will ask you um, sorry the kind of things that you can ask your students um, it says that all of the answers are required um, it doesn't do anything if your students don't give an answer and I'm not going to worry about any other comments. And so there we go. Continue and you get, I'll go back into it. There we go. So you get a summary that comes up. Um, it compares the, um, the class actual with my responses. Um, personally, I don't think the line graph is a particularly good way to, to show it. There's no trend or pattern or connection between these different um, between these different items. Uh, so if it was my choice, I'd probably display it in a bar graph. But um, anyway, um, to confuse matters slightly, they also, uh, the, the, the survey calls these things scales. Um, so this is a group of the different questions that get asked. Um, so I can drill down into this data and see a little bit more information. So those, uh, those were the answers that I that I gave there. Um, so there we go, and you can download that. You can look at it by individual participants as well. 
and you can download it so, for further analysis. Um, so I think it's really good. I do actually think it's, it's, it's a very, very useful activity. Um, you know, as educators, we should be constantly assessing our online materials, getting feedback from our students, and the, um, the survey activity is a great way to do it. So, um, so have fun. Give it a go. Try it. Try it with your students. Thanks for listening.